Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're here at Infocom 2023 on the second day, and Matrox Video made a big announcement here at the show. And in fact, I have uh, two people with me to represent this new product called Luma. Uh, first, of, first off, Francois Germain, who is from Intel, actually, and they partnered with uh, Matrox Video on this new product. Uh, Lucas Bellawaz is going to represent uh, Matrox. I'm going to talk to both of them at the same time. First off, Lucas, uh, uh, f thanks for being here. And uh, tell me a little bit about what uh, Luma is. So Luma, really what it is, is just your standard graphic card. We partnered with Intel, so we're using the Intel Arc GPUs. And we have different form factors, different cards. Uh, we made three cards for now. We have the low profile fanless for anyone who needs reliability. This is really the card to go. And by the way, we're the only ones in the industry that are making a passively cooled card, which is really, really big. Then for someone who needs a bit more power, they'll go up to also the small form factor, but fan card. So because it's a fan card, we can you know wrap up a bit more of the power and get more a bit more of a power a bit more performance then finally for everyone with bigger needs they will go up to the full size card so this is a full size but still single slot no extra power card and, and the 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 application or the market for this is you know obviously traditional graphic cards but you're doing a lot more with this than just a typical graphic no of course i mean you know thanks to the intel chips we have amazing uh, codec performance on these cards. I mean, they're able to do H.264, H.265, VP9, and AV1. Currently at Matrix, we're mostly concentrating on the H.264 and H.265 side. Thanks to that, we're able to decode 36, 40, and even in the 40 streams of full HD videos. And, and tell me, from uh, you know, from Intel's standpoint, where do you see this? Uh, you know, where do you see this partnership playing out, and what's the value that that Matrix Video provides you? Thanks, Gary. It's a great question. question. Uh, Matrox and Intel have been collaborating since the early days of the PC. Uh, we, uh, both companies have earned a solid reputation at delivering reliable and long life cycle products. And thanks to that collaboration, we've been able to come with a, a line of GPU card that is dedicated for the embedded markets. Um, in addition to, uh, um, as part of our collaboration, Intel did develop a set of features specifically adapted for the display wall market and the pro EV industry in general. And thanks to their guidance, we're able to really uh, tune those, those, uh, those, those feature set for, for those needs. It's interesting that Intel recognizes, it's, 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 it's sort of a validation of our market, right? The, the commercial applications for video walls and uh, signage and everything that can, that can come from this in the future. Um, it, is it is it is this a specialized group with inside of Intel, or is this will we see more of this sort of like embedded uh, functionality in, in everything Intel does in the future? It's a great question. So it's really a true collaboration between multiple business unit. We have the GPU business unit who did develop the GPU, but we also have the embedded uh, division at Intel that we call NEX that typically brings uh, all the CPU to the embedded markets, and now we are doing it with the GPU. We look forward to develop, uh, to, to um, build a better footprint in, in the AV industry. Uh, the future is about video, and we want to be part of it. That's great to hear. I'm excited to actually hear. I know, I know that you're excited to hear, hear this, and obviously there's a lot of applications for multiple outputs, not just video walls, right? I mean, we, we see this in signage. Which, which we don't typically call video walls, right? I mean, we look at digital signage and retail applications and also command and control center applications. And, and I see that, you know, you have uh, um, all, all three cards basically kind of do the same thing, but the different form factors is based on the kind of power you need or the resolution you're doing, or how do I determine whether I'm using e each one of these cards? So resolution wise, all three of the cards will do the same thing. They're all capable to doing four times 5K60 or two times 8K60. Really the only big difference is, well, the big card here has six gig of RAMs, the other ones have four gigs of RAM, but other than that is really just power. Okay. So the bigger you go with the fans, without the fan, you go for more power. So depending on your usage, uh, so if I'm using, if I had a signage application where the content's not changing very much, I might be able to get away with this. this but if I'm going to do a command and control center, I might go up to here because we have intense data. Yeah, that's co yeah. correct, yes. And, and you said that it does not just H.264, 265, but it also does a lot of other platforms. Where do you think this will go in the future? Do you think we'll see this in every kind of application, um, you know, not just aimed at, you know, multi-imaging kind of applications like this? I mean, obviously, 
this is the future, by the way. I, I truly believe that um, if you look at our own desktop computers and our own laptops, this is what our laptops look like. We have a lot of data on there. We've just traditionally only presented linear, slide one to slide two to slide three. But this, I think, is the future where you put all your content on there that you're going to need at any moment in time. You grab and drop it and move it. I mean, don't you see, I mean, I guess this question's for either one of you. This is like the beginning of something that's huge, don't you think? I mean, really, you know, like uh, my friend here, Francois, said, uh, video is the future. So, you know, with all the different codecs, with all the different things you could do with these cards, they could go pretty much anywhere. And like you said, video is everywhere from your laptop to a big video wall to just small signage. I mean, I see even like, think about from even like a, a, a classroom application. Right? Of course, we're all presenting with PowerPoint or Keynote, but we're also pulling up YouTube files, we're also pulling up social media, and we're also pulling up chat and things like that. Instead of doing that one at a time, we can display all this at the same time. Correct. And what is also unique to your industry is where we, we come from an industry where the PC used to be the central part exactly. of, the, of, the, of the solution. Right. But when, you come, when we come to the pro industry, the... Uh, the, 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 the Display. The display or the, the system controlling the display yeah. is just part of the network. Right. So that's where we need to go. We need to be able to ingest content, display content uh, in, in baseband, in IP. So that we have big plan for Matrix and not only uh, for video, uh, I think AI, we, we, there's, there's, uh, there's a hint right there for the future. Exactly. Any, uh, any hints on uh, where this might go with, uh, with regard to what he just said? With the AI side, I mean, you know, thanks to the GPU, AI inferencing is something that we're able to do on the cards. Where it's going to go in the future, well, only the future will tell. All right, well, look, if you want to learn more about it, all you got to do is go to matrox.com slash video. Uh, and, uh, and make sure you do that slash video because that's all the video side of Matrix Video. And, uh, you know, and of course, we're going to go around and shoot individual videos here in the, in the booth to make sure we cover all the products, not just Luma. But of course, this is the highlight of the show. Uh, this is a, an award-winning product here. This is going to be big. Pay attention to this um, and make sure that you go to raypubs.com slash infocom and, and type in Matrox in the video search window and you can find all the other videos we shot. Uh, I really appreciate you doing this, Francois. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. It's great to meet you. Uh, and Lucas, congratulations. You must be happy uh, <laughs> that you've got this awesome product. I mean, uh, there's a lot of hype around the product. Everyone's asking about it. Everyone wants one. Yeah, and it's a good location to have it here in an end cap. Thanks for watching, everyone. we got a lot more of Infocom to cover here. Just go to raypubs.com, click on the Infocom link.